Is it possible that this dog is born without spots? Is this breed's howl heard the farthest? Did this dog escape from Cuba during Castro's revolution? Did this breed help Michelangelo paint the Sistine Chapel? Dogs 101 celebrates man's best friend. Today, the Siberian Husky, the Havanese, the Pomeranian, the Dalmatian, and we start with a dog that can jump farther than just about any other. The German Short-Haired Pointer. The German Short-Haired Pointer is known as the most versatile working dog. But did you know that the German short hair has also been elected mayor of all pets in Montclair, California? His opponent said he was dogmatic. And that another served alongside the Air Force in Operation Iraqi and Enduring Freedom, detecting bombs. These dogs can do it all. They've been used to pull sleds. They've been used to, you know, track. They've been used to hunt. They've been used to point. While pointers kept the Egyptians company 3,000 years ago, the German short-haired pointer was developed in the 19th century in, you guessed it, Germany. They were originally bred to be very versatile game hunters. The fact that they're so versatile tells you that this was a dog that somebody put a lot of energy into breeding, um, and it took a lot of different types of dogs to create the German short-haired pointer. It's thought the old Spanish pointer, the English pointer, the Dalmatian, Weimaraner, tracking hound, German bird dog, and the Vishla were put together to make the German short-haired pointer. They weren't bred for their looks, they were bred for their function, but they ended up by looking pretty spiffy too. Their coloring can be as varied as their abilities. Not sure what color your German short hair is? Check his nose, it'll match his coat. Liver-colored dogs have brown noses, and black dogs have a matching black snout. Pointers get their name from the pose they take when they've spotted game. Head down with a steady gaze, paw lifted, then tail up. The pointer takes on the shape of an arrow. All pointers were bred to do this instinctively. You will see that puppies as young as eight weeks old, if you drag a feather on the ground, will oftentimes chase that feather and then stop and point it. Bred for water retrieving, the German short-haired pointer has a short, flat, water-resistant coat that helps it maintain an even temperature. The German short hair also has webbed feet to help it move through the water. The feet are a tight spoon shape. This keeps debris from between the toes. Heavy nails make this dog an all-terrain pooch. Short hairs can handle land, sea, and air. Have you seen this dog jump? German short hair pointers are among the most hyper breeds that I've ever dealt with. They are great at dog sports. They're amazing athletes. They can run and run and run. German short haired pointers are built to jump. They're very lean, putting less stress on their joints. Their power comes from their strong haunches, allowing them to launch themselves both up and out. Come on, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it! Tanner may be 10 years old, but he can jump like a kangaroo. This special short-haired pointer holds the Big Air world record for veteran dogs. He jumped an amazing 24 feet 6 inches. That's like clearing two cars parked back to back. Today, he's competing at the Doc Dogs Regional in Louisville, Kentucky, the first step in qualifying for the 2009 World Championship. Big Air is the long jump for dogs. After a running start down a 40-foot dock, they leap into the water to retrieve their toy. The distance of the jump is measured where the base of the tail hits the water so that dogs, both big and small, have equal advantage. Doc Dogs is a zero discrimination program. Any breed, any size, any mix. <laughs> Sue Barnes began competing with her dog Tanner in 2005 when Doc Dogs came to their hometown of Des Moines, Iowa. Once he got in, he was shooting 17, 18, 19 footers all weekend, and we were addicted from day one. The most fun part is watching how much fun Tanner has. His tail never stops wagging. Labs are dominating today's event. Quasi, a black lab from Scottsville, Kentucky, is the dog to beat. And he's broken the big air indoor world record, a jump of 27 feet, 3 inches. 
The competition is fierce today. 165 teams are here, and Tanner is the oldest dog on the dock. Don't let his old age fool you. Tanner takes the dock for his first jump. And he scores a respectable 19 feet, 10 inches. Is Tanner eliminated? It's his second jump. 20 feet qualifies him for the semi-pro finals. Between warm-ups and his qualifying round, Tanner has jumped more than a dozen times, and he's showing his age. Now, if we have any senior members in our audience, you might appreciate this next dog. There's only one more chance to pull ahead of the pack. Tanner needs to clear 20 feet to win. He takes to the dock. Sue sets his position, and Tanner awaits the command. Come on, get it, get it, get it, get it! Get it. Final jump, 19 feet, 6 inches. Not enough for first, but this old man finishes a respectable third. Tanner and Sue are taking home a medal today after all. This weekend, Tanner made it to the semi-pro finals, and at the age of 10, we're very pleased to say that he made it to third place uh, against a bunch of much younger dogs, so we're very proud of him. <laughs> The German short-haired pointer is a boisterous, highly energetic dog that requires plenty of exercise. It's a huge myth that a hyper dog is the most difficult dog to train. The hyper dog is just the one that wants to be stimulated, that wants to work with a human being. While the German short-haired pointer is suited to all climates, it needs lots of exercise and room to roam. While they are great companions, they do require supervision with small children. German short-haired pointers do make good pets because they like like to be in the company of people, but they're not the type of dog that you would get if you have a family of children because they're so energetic they might just knock them over. This robust breed lives a long life, generally free from health problems. It's not uncommon for them to reach 16 years old. Unlike other sporting dogs, German short hairs rarely suffer from hip dysplasia and joint problems. The coat that repels water also repels dirt, so this dog is an easy one to groom. Looks can be deceiving. This is a dog that sheds a lot, and it is um, very short hair that is oftentimes hard to get out of your clothing and your furniture. The all-terrain German short-haired pointer needs room to roam. It is a robust dog that has few health problems. It's an easy breed that requires minimal grooming. Highly intelligent German short-haired pointers require plenty of exercise and stimulus to keep them happy. And they're a great dog for families with active children. I love German short-haired pointers because I think that they are not only beautiful, but I love the fact that they're a dog that has a really independent spirit, but is also very trainable. When Dogs 101 continues, meet the dog born with...